Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be solving an interesting inequality problem from IMO 2000. Here's the problem. We are given that three positive numbers, A, B, and C, satisfy the condition that A times B times C equals 1. We need to prove that the following expression is less than or equal to 1. The product of three terms. First, A minus 1 plus 1 over B. Second, B minus 1 plus 1 over C. And third, C minus 1 plus 1 over A. With some clever substitutions and using the AMGM inequality, we can solve it in a straightforward way. To make the problem easier to handle, we'll use a substitution. Let's introduce three new variables x, y, and z. We set a equal to x divided by y, b equal to y divided by z, and c equal to z divided by x. This substitution automatically satisfies the condition that a times b times c equals 1. Now, let's break down the terms. The term a minus 1 plus 1 over b becomes x minus y plus c, all divided by y. We can make similar substitutions for the other terms. This gives us a new expression that we can work with. With these substitutions, we've transformed the original inequality into a new goal. We now need to prove that the product of the three terms. First, x minus y plus z divided by y. Second, y minus z plus x divided by z. And third, z minus x plus y divided by x is less than or equal to one. Next, we will see how to approach this. Let's simplify the problem further. Without loss of generality, we can assume that x is less than or equal to y, and y is less than or equal to z. This assumption makes it easier to handle the terms. Now, each term in the product is non-negative. In other words, x minus y plus z, y minus z plus x, and z minus x plus y are all positive or zero. Now, we will apply the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality, or AMGM inequality, to help us prove the inequality. We start by looking at the pairs of terms. For example, the sum of x minus y plus z and z minus x plus y is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of their product. We do the same for the other terms. By applying AMGM to all pairs, we end up with the inequality that the product of these three terms is less than or equal to x times y times z. This proves that the original expression is less than or equal to 1. 
Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and keep practicing these kinds of problems to sharpen your skills.